Good morning, uh, viewers of Escape to Rural France. I'm watching Dan's renovation of the chateau and uh, might be familiar with what I'm doing here. Uh, we bought this house about two months ago, got the keys a week and a half ago. We knew there was a problem with the floor in the, in the back room. Um, thought we could possibly jack it up and just put in a couple of new joists, but the joists were all rotten. So we've taken it out and we're putting a, a new floor in. Um, I must have for renovating on your own is a digital tape measure. Well, just a digital, digital measure, isn't it? Mm. Just cleaning out the pockets. This is an off cut now, just to see how well it fits. That one fits okay. The other side, nowhere near. So there's a bit of chipping out to do here. This is the walk down to the to the basement. So uh, I really, really, really should have bought a big ladder so we could get up and down quickly. Because I spent my day going up and down. Every time I forgot a tool, I had to go down. Every time I forgot a tool, I had to go up. So. Uh, yeah, the ladder I do have is a little step ladder. So. Anyway, the first one I decided to use the hammer and chisel, thinking it would be the way to go. It wasn't. Um, yes, yes, soon came out. The pocket on this side here, actually, uh, after looking inside, it actually backs on to another void under the dining room or under the sitting room. So I decided to knock the back out of it to kind of see if I could get a full length beam in. So this beam here is 4.3 meters now. Uh, it's really obvious when I put it in now that it's way too big. There is a, a size that'll fit in. It's, it's easy enough to calculate. You kind of go from almost the back of one pocket to just above the pocket on the other side. And that in theory should be the longest bit of wood that'll fit in there. but. There is a bit of wiggle room with the walls and that I can take the plaster off the wall if needs be and chip away at it a little bit. So really I wanted as much timber as possible in the pockets, you know, to get as much support as possible. Um, I spent way too long in this first one. I think I was a half an hour doing just one, one joist. So no amount of prizing was ever going to make this work. To make it a little bit harder, there's a, a copper pipe on the right hand side there that's suspended in the air. Was attached to the old joist. So the fear is here that it's, if I if I if I drop the, the joist on top of it, it will uh, it'll burst the pipe. So I have an old joist here which I just went and got from the garden, which mean, meant I could actually take it out. So I, I tried that way too long. So I chopped a, a hundred mil was my was my calculation. I took eighty off it again. Ridiculous! I should have just taken the the uh, one hundred off it. Um, again, this is really edited down because it didn't go in that easy. But the first one in, happy days. So the pocket on the left there was, was mega tight, so it took a, a lot of work to get in. I ended up screwing on these bits of timber and slowly knocking it in. Now this would have been a lot easier with two people, but it's just not possible. We just moved to France, so I don't really have any anyone here to uh, give me a hand, and Maeve is Mind the kids at the moment, so she's busy doing all the admin, contacting all the the local uh, Marys to find out all the stuff that we've got to do and find out how everything works. It's been amazing because she's obviously French. It's made life so easy for us. I wouldn't really, it'd be, it'd be quite difficult doing it not speaking French. Even going to the shops can be difficult. Anyway, beam number two. Just as stubborn as the first one, despite being 80 mil. 
shorter than the max length. Uh, this didn't have the recess to, to the, the deep recess to it, so uh, I eventually lose patience with it and break out the SDS chisel again. And uh, just cut a channel in to knock it down. So each one I put in, it's just it just got quicker and quicker. So the second one was about half the time as the first one. The third one was less than ten minutes. So um, yes, yeah, so I got tired of going down the, the steps to the cellar. So I was clambering up like a like a mountain goat. So yeah, the trick is to slide this in low, which I'm not doing here. Took this out again, came in low. A little bit difficult because the width of the room, these are longer than the width of the room, so it's a little bit awkward to actually work with them, especially with a big giant fireplace in the way. I'm gonna keep that fireplace, well, I'm not gonna keep it as a fireplace, it's gonna be where our, our, uh, our hob goes and our extractor will go up into it. So again, lots of jiggery pokery here. Beam number three now. Uh, this was a, a lot easier than uh, the previous one. A few blocks of the fireplace I had to knock out. So tomorrow morning now I'll be starting at this again. So hopefully the next five or so will we'll fly in there after this. There's one in the middle of the fireplace I'll have to create a new pocket for because it just didn't exist before because the fireplace hearth was there. Anyway, my advice doing this would be to uh, get seven SDS drill and just be a bit more generous with, with your cuts. And have a second person to shimmy with you.